In this video, we are going to be creating the knit version of the skull cap. We need four larger needles. I'm using 5.5 millimeter needles, but you can go up to six millimeters. I just couldn't find a, a set. And you will need a chunky yarn. I am going with the Charisma in Ginger and it is a chunky yarn. I will link right here where you can do the cro crochet version of the um, skull cap. It is uh, with the uh, basic Lottie doll head that I created. I will timestamp it below where you will end link it below. And it is also timestamped on that video. Okay, so let's begin. Let's cast on six stitches of whatever cast on method you prefer. Now we will divide these stitches onto three, another two uh, double pointed needles or look for a total of three needles. Place our marker for the beginning of our round. We will be knitting in the round for the entire project. Okay, so now for our first row, we're going to knit front back in each stitch. We're going to then slip our marker and knit one round. So now we're going to slip our marker and now we're going to knit one, knit front back. So you're going to knit one, knit front back, and you're going to repeat that for the rest of this round. Okay, so now we're going to slip our marker and we're going to knit one round.
We're going to slip it around our, our marker. Excuse me. Now we're going to knit two. Knit from back. And repeat for the next, for the rest of the round. So knit two. Knit from back. Repeat to the end of the round. Slip our marker and we're going to knit one round. So knit for the entire round. Slip our marker. Now we will knit three, knit from back. I'm going to repeat that to the end of the round. So knit three, knit front back. We're going to slip our marker and knit this round for the entire round. Come into the end of our knit round. We're going to slip our marker. And we're going to knit four, knit front back. And we're going to repeat that to the end of this row. So knit four, knit front back. Come into the near the end of our round of our knit four, knit front back. We're going to slip our marker. And now we are going to knit the entire round. Coming to the end of our knit round, we're going to go to our next decrease round. We're going to slip our marker. Now we are going to knit five. Knit front back. And you're going to repeat that for the entire round. So knit five, knit front back, repeat.
slip our marker and now we are going to knit one round. Coming near the end of my knit round. Now we will slip our marker and knit six. Then knit front and back. And we'll repeat this for the entire round. So knit six, knit front back. Coming near the end of my knit six. Knit from back. Now we're gonna slip our stitch marker and we're going to knit one round. Okay, so we're coming near the end of our knit round. I'm gonna slip our marker. Now, you could stop your increases here and then just continue on after this next step I'm going to do, but I prefer my skull caps to be a bit on the looser side than tighter side. So I'm going to ink knit seven. I'm gonna do one more increase round. then knit front back and I'm going to repeat this for the rest of this round. Now if you feel like this is covering your doll heads, um, head, the top of the head enough, then you do not, you can skip this last increase. But I want my skull cap not to be snug tight to the head. So I am doing this one more round of increases. You had um, a six millimeter knitting needle. You may feel like this increase round is not needed. But for this video, I will be increasing the knit seven, knit front back for this one round. If you do not want to, then skip this one round. Do not skip the rest. So if you want to um, add one more increase, which I recommend, it, especially if you're using a 5.5 millimeter knitting needle, knit seven, knit front back for the rest of this round. If not, meet us back at the next round. Coming near the end of my knit seven, knit front back, slip marker, and now we are going to knit six rounds, this being the first of six. Let's go ahead and knit six rounds total. I'm coming near the end of my sixth round, but I'm going to check how it fits on my doll's head before 
and finish it. So you're going to slip your cap on. Okay, so it's a little bit better um, view. You can see that this is not far enough. It's getting close. It's going to squish it in a little bit, the knitted one. But six is not enough. And I'm going to show you with the crocheted one. This one, in the crochet, you can see how far this goes down. And this is what we want to happen. So I'm on the sixth round, but I am going to do two more for a total of eight rounds. Now you see how this is in the front here? Definitely liking how low that is, but not liking how long it is here. It's very important that it goes down longer here. So let's go, you know, if yours already does all that, then you can cast off. But mine does not, so I'm going to go and do two more rows after I finish the sixth round. Okay, I've completed my eighth round, or I've nearly completed it, and I still don't feel like it is long enough. So I'm going to go and knit ten, another two to make it an even ten. I definitely feel that ten will be the one for this doll's head. Remember, each time you sculpt the head, it can have, take on a bit of different shape how you sculpt it. But you can see the front here. I do like how the front is, but I don't like how the sides are. So I'm going to go ahead and knit two more rounds for a total of ten rounds. Okay, so I finished the uh, tenth round, and this is perfect. So what we're going to do now is we will cast off our... Well, I'm going to finish this tenth round here. We're going to cast off. So let me just finish this. Remove this, and now begin casting off all of our stitches all the way around. Okay, so I'm just about finished casting off here. Cut my yarn, now leave a big amount because you need it to sew on the scalp. And we're just going to place this, the knit skull cap on the head. Now, the reason why I decided to show this video is because I've had many people ask me to give a tutorial on the um, knitted skull cap um, because I always use the uh, crocheted one. I use the crocheted one just because that's what I prefer to do for a skull cap. But um, I thought I would share how to do the knitted one also. I'm going to just thread this, and we're going to do the same way that we we sew on the skull, the uh, crochet one, and that's to weave in all the way around. Let's see how. Skull cap goes all the way around here. I'm going to um, also uh, link right here an old video I did 
showing um, in de more detail how exactly to shape around the head. It's one that I did in 2015 when I think I did a total of six videos and then just couldn't keep up with doing videos. Hey, I had, I have six children and at that time, five of them were still really small, really young. So anyhow, um, and I worked full time. I just found doing videos was just a little bit much and I just wanted to focus on creating the dolls and not so much videoing at that time. But I'm in a different stage now. So, oh yeah, see how I'm going right back here? Yes, your torso will cover over it. That's okay. That is a-okay. Now this is the head I'm using for my new pattern, Charlotte, and it's also part of my Charlotte playlist, but I wanted to do this skull capped individually and the sculpted head individually so that it could be a source to look back on because I've had many people ask about that. And they can be used for any of my dolls. Even though I do have some different heads for different dolls. But these two um, are, are, I would have to say my new sculpted doll head and my regular uh, Lottie doll head are the ones I use primarily, but I definitely have different heads for different patterns also. Okay, so here we are. Um, I am going to go through and knit a little bit more secure around here. Sorry, not knit. Um, so a little more securely, but I just wanted to say this is our knitted skull cap. Now we will not be doing the hair until the end. Well, when leave the actual hairdo until the very end of your doll. Um, as you, if you end up watching my video that I did in 2015 about attaching the skull cap and how to do it and whatnot. I go into details why, which is you don't want to destroy your hair and you may change your mind how you want to do her hair or his hair uh, by the time you've finished creating the complete doll with the complete outfit. It's a real thing and you don't want to, it's just the hair is the final touch, but, this knit, uh, but the cap is part of the beginning process. There we go, the knitted skull cap. Like I said, I primarily do the crochet one, but here is the knitted one. If you enjoyed this video, show me by giving me a big thumbs up down below. And if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video I upload. Thanks so much for watching. It's me, Dina. See you next Monday. Bye.